Good morning. You know, I'm sitting out here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. I'm sitting out by the pool, and I just came from my my morning workout. And you know, I'm over here reading and you know and praying, and I'm reflecting on a lot of different things going on. Um, been hit with some challenges as of lately in my life, and you know, the challenges have created a lot of. Uh, a lot of emotional um, response within me uh, from anger to frustration to fear, anxiety, excitement. Uh, I've kind of run the gamut of a lot of different emotions uh, over the last five weeks or so. And, you know, as I sit here and I'm reading, uh, <laughs> well, I think about this passage that. Jesus comes up on a comes up on this well or this this pool uh, where the people would go to heal themselves and kind of lay for healing and whatnot and uh, he comes across this paralyzed guy who'd been there for he'd been there laying there for 38 years now I'm gonna celebrate my 45th birthday this year so uh, this guy's been laying there almost as long as I've been alive and that's that's pretty crazy amount of time if you ask me but the interesting thing that happens is Jesus just looks down at him. He saw him lying there, and he learned that he'd been in this condition for a long time. And he asked him, do you want to get well? Man, that is a question that, man, I can, I can sit and I can wallow in self-pity. I can sit and I can wallow and um, doesn't really do any good. But the real question is, do you want to get well? Man, that, that's a deep, deep question. As I'm reading this morning, I'm reading a story about, uh, about a Marine, and he was wounded in war. Uh, lost the use of his legs, he's in a wheelchair. And his buddies are trying to help him overcome the sense of worthlessness now that he can't use his legs. He doesn't feel like his life is worth anything, so they're talking with him. Sets a stage, right? While they're talking with him, he's talking about this deep commitment that he had to excellence, this deep commitment to service. And it reminded me of uh, being a kid out on the baseball field when I would play ball. And the thing that I was always taught was you go out there and you give it every thing you've got just leave it on the field if you win great you left everything you had on the field on that particular day the other team was better you got some things to learn you got some things to improve in some skills that you need to pick up and whatnot but you leave it on the field if you don't give everything you've got and you come off the field and even if you win you're not going to feel that great about life as i got older uh that happened a lot on softball teams that I played on where I would give everything I've got. We lost miserably. The team was depressed, but I felt great because I knew that I, there was nothing else I could do that day. I did everything that I could. And I can honestly say that there were times that we won and I came off the field and I didn't feel all that great because I just felt like I, I only played halfway. Well, in life, it doesn't work like that. If we want to get better, if we want to get well in our life, we have to make a commitment to giving everything we've got every single time. Brandon Bouchard said, You cannot become extraordinary without a sense that it's absolutely necessary to excel. You must get more emotionally committed to what you're doing. It's profound. In so many ways, that is so profound. You know, I'm going through some uh, some changes in my career right now. Um, I've got a lot of decisions and a lot of choices to make. And if I sit back and I don't do anything, I'm going to feel terrible. But if I get out there and I give it everything that I've got every single day, if I get completely committed to getting well as uh, Jesus commended us, then I tell you what, there's nothing 
There's absolutely nothing that can stop us. Absolutely nothing. But sitting around and crying about it and sitting and having a, a self-pity party, it's going to be a really, really long and lonely party because people don't want to be around uh, a pity party. You know, it's time to move forward. It's time to get going um, and uh, to pick up, get committed to some new emotional strength, uh, to get stretched a little bit, to grow, to learn the things that we need to learn. But we cannot sit and wallow in the past. The past is not going to change. It's time to move forward. So, uh, guys, I hope this finds you well. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate your support. And you know what? I, I'm I'm committed to excellence. I'm committed to uh, doing more uh, in my life, in my career, in my faith, uh, with my family than I've ever done before in my life. It's time to leave it on the field. I hope this finds you well. Have an outstanding, outstanding day.